Good morning, guys. It is July 14th, early in the morning, 7.30. We just woke up and we are on Lake... Lake what again? Lake what? Lake Pandorel, I think. Pandorel, yeah. Lake Pandorel, just near Clark Ford. So that was the section one, and the best part of this section was the last stretch uh, heading out to the tower. And today we will be doing uh, section two, normally known as section seven, because the one from yesterday was section eight. So we're going backwards. So we just spent the night here getting ready, and the sleep was good, the campsite if you're looking for a washroom, there is no bloody door on it to take a shit. You need to sit in an open stall. So there's also uh, not much facilities and the campsite is uh, basically $28 a night. But the lake is beautiful, so you can have a dip in a lake and wash yourself this way as well. I'll go there very shortly and I'll show you how that looks over there. So that's our setup. For the night, the boys are already making breakfast. I'm still working on mine. It's gonna be over easy eggs today. Coffee is already on the table. We sat last night quite long. Those two, they finished, the, almost finished the freaking wiser. <laughs> They're the guilty ones, not me this time. <laughs> it is super nice and quiet in the morning. There's no waves, no boats running around and making splashes the water is so calm and the lake is actually crystal clear when i was uh, swimming there yesterday it was super clear and it is surrounded by mountains so there we go that's how it looks around and the lake is actually quite big it goes this is like a little this is like a little peninsula and on the, on the other side there's some more. A lot of people on the boats having fun here and yeah, the water is clear. All right, so it is time to go to the campsite, make myself some breakfast and start packing everything and head out for a section two. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a little bit more challenging. The section one was actually quite easy, even the hard stuff on it wasn't uh, really difficult. It was uh, quite easy, those high mountains, 6,500 uh, 6, feet elevation, no problem. So we're finally rolling, just leaving Clark Fork and beginning the section, second section of Idaho BDR. So far, first thing in the morning, temperature is killing already. But the breeze is good. I wonder how high we're gonna get today into the mountains. What's gonna be our maximum elevation? It looks like it's beginning with the gravel again, but that 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 stuff is okay because it looks wet for some reason, even though it wasn't raining.
second section started already much better than the first one. A lot of nice turns. And a lot of rocks in the road, but uh, those dips are pretty cool feeling to ride over them. You can almost take off on them. Hmm. Yeah, that is nice. That is very nice. smell of the beautiful pine trees once uh, sometimes not right now but yesterday it was really strong so today's section we're looking at uh, about a hundred miles uh, that was uh, originally when we started now we're heading down so I didn't even look it up uh, now 87 miles to go Somebody is maintaining that road as well because it looks like all the logs are cut off and uh, tossed to the side. So, because we don't have any chainsaws on us, if the tree would be down, I don't know, we'll bite it through like a beaver and go over. <laughs> It looks pretty nice. Ah, there was some very steep grades. Climb, 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 climb. Up, 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 boy. At the boy. At the boy. <laughs> Another climb. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa. There we go. A little bit of a break. Oh, beautiful location. Just a pit stop. A little bit of water. Get hydrated cool off but in the forest it's not too bad but if somebody complains that we don't have a trees th there they are <laughs> Greta you would be really happy about it here Bogdan is munching on some berries pissing off all the bears huckleberry huckleberries or something like that
that's for firewood. And again, we have some view. We were right at the bottom and how quickly, how quickly we climbed up here. It was like, what, 10, 15 minutes? There's a big rat on the left side. Stay on top. Shoot, yeah, yeah. Soft. Gotta gear down. That was soft. Oh, it's a tough going. This is steep, very steep. Time to eat some huckleberries. I thought it's a blueberry. Huh. They call it a huckleberry, but it looks like a blueberry to me. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a red fingers. Well, that was a good feast. About half an hour of munching or more of munching blueberries. Oh, they were so good and juicy, and there's two different kinds. So, if you're riding through here, 
don't go too fast because you might miss them. That was a very good snack actually. Midday, one o'clock and now continue another 50 miles. Shit, 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 shit. Tight, right, very tight. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice climb. <laughs> Holy, we went so high up from that road that we passed uh, on the bottom. Jeszcze 30 mili katowania. Cięte drzewo. No, przejdziemy. There's a little butterfly. And check out that road ahead of me. That's what we went on. Beautiful. Boys are staring what we did. <laughs> loose on the left side, loose gravel, keep right if you want it. We're going to the right. <laughs> And it's tight again. Yeah. 
something so I can move on. Pull me close. Robert. W lewo jedziemy Bogdan tutaj. Push me away. Jedź, jedź, bo byś kurzył. Let me know if we'll be okay. Cause I can't stand another moment of you playing with my mind. I'm so tired and never knowing to spell it out. Cause I won't stay awake till morning. I won't stay. Nine miles of that BDR second section. It's uh, white stuff on the road, not as dusty but dusty as well. I wonder how people made those videos and uh, nobody sees any dust, especially when they were riding in a group. Because yeah, when you're going alone. Uh, you're not gonna have any dust because whoever is riding first but uh, any <clears throat> any person that's behind the guy that's in the front it doesn't matter how far away you're gonna stay still gonna be covered in that white crap as you see my bike here is totally suffering from dust Follow the river stream. <laughs> Bogdan says it's more scenic because we're going along the river. <laughs> We got 5.6 miles left. Hopefully it's not all like that. Because this is actually, the washouts are quite bad. Wow. Somebody's gonna need some gas. A jeszcze dwie kreski mam i kanister, no ale... Wallace, 
Coronet Hotel. Tourist Tour I-90. Yeah, very old school, miasteczko. Yeah, man, wyczepiamy się. So, hey guys, we made it through section two of Idaho BDR, and we are currently in Wallace, uh, Idaho. We found a campsite in RV Park for a night, just with the local brewery on site. The day was quite tough, I gotta say, but yeah. the that's only because it was uh, pretty hot. Other than that, uh, the terrain was quite decent, manageable. The bikes looks like shit. Grooming, we just had a shower and time to have some beer, possibly a burger or something to chow on. So this is how our babies look. Two days of dirt. Gr dust and gravel and logging rugs, roads. Mine is beyond normal. She never looks like this. It's disgusting, filthy. <laughs> but that's apparently how it's supposed to look. Our village is set up right here. So we are close to I-90 that just up there. There's an overpass and tomorrow we will be heading on section three for us and it is seven on idaho bdr map 130 miles or so today was about 110 or so after having a meal at the local pub on the campsite we decided to explore a little bit of wallace Wallace continues its 100 plus year run into the world's largest silver producer, making the, the richest mining town still in existence and the last town entirely listed as National Register of Historic Places. Historic Wallace continues to diversify into a bigger, better and more attractive town with world-class recreation and tourism, mined along with the area colorful living history. Enjoy more than thousand miles of mining, logging and forest service roads that have been turned into the world's largest mountain bike ATV and snowmobile trail system.